Hello there, my name's Andrew Gray. I'm the owner of Truth Legal Sisters here in gorgeous Harrogate, North Yorkshire. Now, all my colleagues have gone away for the evening, so I can record this blog for you guys. And the reason why I want to record a blog today is because, again, I'm really knocked off. I read in the legal press about an hour ago that the Law Society, the national sort of grouping of every trade union for us lawyers, has again panned the government because of some changes that came in in 2013 have been proved to be detrimental for people's ability to access a lawyer. Now I came into law to be a lawyer to provide access to justice to people, but since 2010, in particular when a piece of legislation called LASPO came in in 2013, in the personal injury world, people's compensation levels have decreased and insurers' profit levels have increased. In the family world and the criminal world, as in accessing criminal lawyers and family lawyers, legal aid has pretty much died. The government has pretty much killed it. It's very difficult to obtain legal aid anymore. And therefore, your ability to defend yourself in a criminal matter, say when you've done nothing wrong, and if you haven't got lots of money, has been curtailed. Now, what's the point of living in a civilised country with all these fantastic rules and laws which our politicians are creating if you can't access justice? So I'm not going to make great comments about uh, the economy or immigration or Brexit or anything like that, but just very simply, since 2010, the people I represent have found it harder to get a lawyer. And I think that is an absolute tragedy, a travesty. I don't believe that people would vote for something like that. Please don't vote for stuff like that. You need to be able to enforce your legal rights. I've seen it in employment law as well. Until recently, if you wanted to bring an employment claim, for example, because you were fired because you were pregnant or you were black or you were gay, or it was an unfair dismissal claim, you had to pay the government up to about £1,200 to bring a claim. Not paying lawyers, you might have to pay the lawyers as well, but you had to pay the government about £1,200. Thankfully, the Supreme Court kicked that one out because it was illegal. And now it's free to bring employment tribunal claims, which is a good thing, but only when the, the, the Supreme Court got a hold of it, was this thing dismissed. So I implore you, when considering your choices at an election, think of all these matters, the employment situation, the immigration, Brexit, all those views, but please, please, please take into consideration what lawyers are saying, like me, about people's ability to access justice in the personal injury world and the employment world. And on the horizon, the government has well, will be introducing, assuming the government control, uh, continues, the government will be introducing some changes again to personal injury, which will mean that people who've had car accidents, who are innocent, who've got claims up to £5,000 in value, which is a pretty significant claim, I would say, won't be able to access lawyers. But the insurers, of course, they'll have their range of lawyers and they'll have their claims handlers that know what they're doing. And you, the general public, who are bringing hundreds of thousands of claims won't have access to justice again. So I'm angry, I'm sorry, I didn't want it, and I hope that you didn't want it too. Bye bye.